so today's webinar will be going over the new features and updates and enhancements on AutoCAD 2018. Um, AutoCAD 2018 is specifically engineering for the future. And before we get into that, advance the slide. We're going to get into a little introduction about Microdesk. Uh, some of you may know us, some of you may not. Uh, so just to give you a little background, uh, Microdesk is based in Nashua, New Hampshire, and it is the only solutions provider in the Northeast with the PSP certification, or Autodesk's premier solutions provider, uh, for civil and mapping specialist, architectural specialist. Now, why is this important? Well, PSP is a designation uh, like Autodesk's stample, stamp of approval, and Microdesk's experts and resources have been tested and found to exceed the usual reseller requirements. Now, there are about 128 Autodesk resellers in the U.S., and of these, there are only five okay, solu civil solution and mapping specialists, uh, or PSPs. And Microdesk is the only civil solutions and mapping specialist on the East Coast. Now, Microdesk is one of very few providers uh, that are able to distinguish themselves as PSP certified in both civil and mapping specialist and architectural specialists. Okay. Uh, you can see here from this slide, um, we have 12 locations uh, across the US and now including the UK. And we're expanding. Um, so I just want to put a little plug in. Hey, if Microdesk seems to be a, something interesting to you and you want to be part of our awesome team, uh, just please check out our website as well. In addition to training classes, like the one you're about to take today, okay, we provide full service consulting. And this includes BIM, or Building Information Modeling Services, uh, Enterprise Strategy and Workflow Assessments, Technology Management, Mentoring and Support, and Application Development. And a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a solution specialist for Microdesk uh, on the civil engineering team, and I have experience in public transportation, infrastructure design, and I've helped clients such as New York and New Jersey Port Authority, uh, TNM Associates, and the VA Consulting, uh, providing technical support, consulting services, and training for a variety of civil engineering teams. Um, past experiences include uh, Singen Associates, um, Albert Webb, uh, IEI, and Epstein. That's just a little, about, a little bit about me and enough about me. So let's get on to our agenda here. So today's webinar, uh, we'll be demonstrating how AutoCAD 2018 is shaping the future of the AEC industry. Uh, software management is made simple and highlighting top new features in this updated current version. So AutoCAD is engineered for the future. And how? So let's take a look at that. Well, before we dive into that more uh, in detail, I just want to show you here that Autodesk has been supplying continuous innovation for the past 35 years, all the way back from 1982 from its first release uh, to today's version, 2018. Okay, so you have that consistency of innovation for over 30 years by Autodesk. And with this current version in 2018, uh, they keep pushing the limits. Simplified. Autodesk now provides updates through their Autodesk desktop app. Okay, for quick reference and download, to their updates. Uh, you can quickly access, download, and install the latest and greatest updates directly from Autodesk. Now, personalized, 
Um, you can personalize your auto uh, CAD uh, by optimizing your Autodesk experience with apps. Okay, they directly plug in and are formatted into AutoCAD through their App Store. Um, apps from Autodesk App Store um, are available for AutoCAD. However, okay, this is not a feature that is available on the LT version. However, on the full Auto uh, AutoCAD version, there are 600 uh, plus apps that are available on their App Store. Okay, so take a look at that. Now connected, uh, through their A360, Autodesk's mobile app, users can access, review, and collaborate drawing files anywhere, okay, via your desktop, or your tablet, or even your phone. Okay, so you can stay connected anywhere, almost any time. Innovation. The Autodesk continues to be a leader in innovation, just like I stated earlier, and users can utilize 3D printing, easily work with point cloud data and BIM designs, and enhanced workflows with PDFs. You can attach popular BIM file formats as underlays to your AutoCAD drawings, and then use AutoCAD XRefs uh, tools and attach Naviswork files, or even download the BIM 360 Glue add-in to reference in BIM 360 models. A management of files made simple. Updated features allow users to quickly change, find, and replace the paths of XRefs or external references. Uh, also change the type of reference files with multiple files. Layer management capabilities can now be loaded on the quick access toolbar for quicker access. And 3D printing is made simple through their print studio and 3D print services. A little bit more about this Autodesk um, desktop app. You manage all your updates with a single app. You can get alerts on updates without disrupting your workflow. Tutorials help you get the most out of the new features, and product-specific content delivers skill-building tips, content libraries, and many, many more. Now you can take the power of AutoCAD wherever you go. Now the AutoCAD mobile app is now included at no additional cost now when you subscribe to AutoCAD. Uh, you can view, edit, and share drawings easily on your mobile device with the AutoCAD mobile app. Now, let's get into the meat of this webinar, which you're probably curious to see, and that's the top features of AutoCAD 2018. So the new features here listed on AutoCAD 2018 on this first slide. It includes new PDF tools, updates to working with XRefs, or external references, and off-screen selection. Okay. And we'll take a look at some short videos demonstrating these new tools. And to continue on with the new features, uh, conversion of texts, enhancements to resolution displays, such as 4K monitors and uh, higher resolution displays, user interface improvements, and coordination and collaboration, okay, which is key to today's uh, AEC industry, always being able to have that uh, reach back capability, uh, coordination capability at an instance. Now let's dive in to the little uh, demos. So in this little video here, you're seeing the enhancements to PDF import process. You can intelligently bring in text, or the SHX and TrueType text, and geometry from PDFs 
you can see here, and then use them like any other AutoCAD object. Now PDFs have been added to the supported uh, import file formats. They can import the geometry, true type text, and raster images from a PDF file or underlay into the current drawing as AutoCAD objects. And then afterwards, you can use the SHX text recognition tool to quickly convert imported geometry from SHX text to text objects. And you can see here I've gone into the settings and you can add and remove fonts that you typically work with. Picking from my list. Romance C, again, like I said, you can add or remove. It gives you a, a font preview. And if you want to be even more specific, you can type in the text here on the lower left corner and get the preview as well. And then once you're satisfied with the choices of your fonts, and you'll click OK. And then AutoCAD automatically replaces them with mText objects. Okay, so clicking OK. And it runs the process and you can see there, okay, they've been converted to text. Now working with external file references, you can save time and minimize frustration with simple tools to fix broken paths for external references or XREFs. You can see here on the right hand side that there's many broken paths and you can select the new path and browse, select your file, And click on open and you can see it applies throughout on my reference manager. Now XREFs default to relative reducing broken paths. You can do a find and replace of multiple files at one time. Browse search for the file and replace. Now off screen uh, selection, even if you pan or zoom off screen, selected objects stay in the selection set. You can see here as I pan and zoom off screen, zoom out, and you can see all the selection objects are staying selected. Okay, you can navigate freely around your drawing while selecting objects, and selected objects stay in the selection set, even if you pan or zoom. And there's a selection off screen system variable that you can have set within your AutoCAD. Now, text to M text. You saw this uh, briefly in a previous video, but the convert to M text express tool, which was only available in AutoCAD, is more flexible and intelligent than ever. It has been integrated as a core tool in both AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT, and it's now called combined text. And mText objects can now be selected along with text objects. And character codes translate correctly and formatting is inferred. 
You can see here from this dialog window, you can uh, have sorting options. You can actually apply a word wrap. And if you hit OK, all your text will now be converted to an M text. Window the text. And then hit Enter. And now you can see here at my command line, I have 23 text objects converted to an M, M text. And just like any other M text, you can make your modifications as needed. User interface improvements. Work intuitively with common dialog boxes and toolbars. From your dialog window, you can make edits such as types or date modified. And whenever you open up the file, um, your edits to the browsing dialog window remains until you change it. Okay. Uh, you can pull and stretch the options window, updates to colors okay, have been enhanced, file navigation dialog boxes remember your column sorts, order preferences, and specifying layers and color drafting set settings is simpler than ever. Okay, with the system variable monitor, you can make your edits in one location. And you can even reset your system variables to default settings. Share designs anywhere, anytime. Sharing your drawing views with ease by publishing them to the cloud for a period beyond 30 days now. Improve collaboration by publishing your drawing views to the cloud. Now your viewers don't need a login or even an AutoCAD based product and they can't alter your source drawing file. However, they extend the availability of your shared design views beyond 30 days, and they can even comment on your shared views. Now, beyond the desktop, the apps from the Autodesk App Store are available with AutoCAD. Uh, however, not on AutoCAD LT. But with Autodesk um, A360, you can view, edit, and share designs and access them anywhere, anytime. Now here's a screenshot of a comparison between AutoCAD and LT for version 2018. And you can see that the LT version has about half of the new updates of the full. And here's a comparison of the full version of AutoCAD from 2016 all the way up to 2018, seeing all the updates and enhancements that they've added. Again, um, continually making that innovation. Well, it's been a pleasure showing off this webinar on AutoCAD 2018. And just a reminder that if you have any questions, and you want to learn more about uh, 2018 AutoCAD or other training 
consulting or software solutions, check out our website that's posted here on this slide, or give us a call or shoot us an email. You can also find us on a variety of social channels, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, feel free to just come and chat. Thank you for attending. You have a wonderful day.